Okay, Scorpio. As I told the other water signs, I'm just going to keep repeating myself all day today. The energy, I'm not loving. I am not loving this energy at all. I don't know if it's the eclipse is coming, re retrograde coming, if it's from this new moon. I have no idea, but I am telling you, like, I'm three days in off of coffee, which in itself is just sad. Um, I am, like... I'm dealing with like weird shit from my past. Uh, I don't know what other water signs are doing, but it, this is just not, I don't like the energy at all. So let's hope that you have a very peaceful solar eclipse. That's what we're looking at today. Later, I'm going to try to get up all the water signs, Mercury retrograde as well. So you get learn the truth, growth of energy, and knowledge. So it sounds like you're going to be finding some stuff out, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising for the solar eclipse. Scorpio, what do you want Scorpio to know? Could be dealing with an air sign and messages are coming through. There's something you need to allow to happen in this situation that you are hesitating on. What is that? You need to you need to speak up. You need to speak up. Don't let this person overpower you. Don't let them, you know, tell you how it's going to be. Don't let them make an apology that they don't mean. Whatever it is, you need to speak up. You need to be the the you know, you need to be firm about this. I'm seeing a receipt for some reason that you didn't know about or you find out about as well receipt yeah, I think it's a receipt I don't think it's a note I'm pretty sure it's a receipt finances are looking better love connection looks like an argument okay Scorpio solar eclipse could be dealing with a fire sign um, in this argument if it's not a fire sign it's somebody like fire like qualities I'm seeing somebody get burned on hot water. Please be careful about that, okay? I see you moving on from a situation. Could be a romantic situation. There's another one right around the corner, though, Scorpio. So be careful if you're not looking to get re-involved. Like, stay in your room like me. Um, again, I it, this air sign keeps popping up. Whatever the air sign has to say to you, once again, I'm going to repeat it. Whatever they have to say to you, I just don't buy it. I just don't buy it. They're putting you in the reverse, okay? And I do think you're going to see them out or, or maybe you guys go out, something of that nature. If you instinctually get a feeling from somebody, you need to, you know, follow those instincts. Because I feel like they will tell you, like, you know, your gut reacts. Scorpio. Scorpio, you are just done with everybody's shit here. Even with work. It looks like you're just done with everybody's shit around the solar eclipse. You might be spending some time in bed just because you're not sleeping well or um, you're overthinking and not sleeping or getting proper rest or something. I d your money looks fine. Your money looks fine, okay? Scorpio. Scorpio, it's saying here you haven't been listening to your intuition. Please do that, all right? You may be letting go of a bad habit or a person or a bad habit, okay? And this actually is going to kind of make you depressed. <laughs> sort of like me giving up coffee. <laughs> it's like, hmm, my I don't know why I did that, you know? Scorpio, um, I do see a situation, yeah, see, I <clears throat> judgment in the reverse in the page of wands, I do feel like somebody's like, somebody's messing with you, Scorpio, during the solar eclipse, they really are, and I don't really like it, they're kind of like, um, I don't know how I want to put that, but I definitely think that this person's not using you know, good judgment at all when it comes to you or even how they're dealing with you. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. 
you might be changing so it could be anything from changing career paths or having a whole new um, investment or even side business. But I do see a lot more money coming in towards you. Okay, like, <clears throat> and with the seven of coins, it makes me think that there's something new that you're different. Diff there's something new that you're doing as well. I'm sorry, my daughter's yelling and it's kind of like distracting. Leela! Leela! Lee! A little quieter, please. Thank you. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rise. Sun, moon, and rising for the solar eclipse. Man, your money looks great. And for those of you that are getting into something new, whether it's a new business or a side job or investment, with the Ace of Wands, like this is going to be your passion. This is going to be something you do for a really long time and you really actually end up enjoying. This looks fantastic. Um... All in all, I don't know if this solar eclipse is really going to be that bad for you. Maybe just get rid of a lot of garbagey friends, but that's that's about it. Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising for the solar eclipse. Healing period. Um, I do see a large expense, but you already knew this was coming. This is something that isn't going to be a shocker to you, so maybe you have to get a new furnace or you know, uh, and something happens to your car, something like that. Um, but you already knew this. You were just waiting for it to happen, okay? So it, most likely around that time it's going to happen. Solar eclipse for Scorpio. Scorpio, there's the fire sign now. Um, you do have your your ideal mate here on the I don't know if you know them or not you may you may end up meeting somebody around this time as well if you're single okay guys I am just the noises in this house I told you like it's just total chaos during this that's the dogs playing outside it's obnoxious sorry Scorpio sun moon and rising Yeah, I do think a lot of you guys are going to meet somebody. I think it's a fire sign. If you're already involved with fire sign, I don't know. Maybe, you know, t it takes off. or. But I do see you guys finding some sort of balance. Working on relationships, I do see like a, um, a celebration of sorts as well. Could be celebrating your new investments. Solar eclipse for Scorpio. Oh, geez, that just took a turn. Slowly getting yourself back together um, health-wise, okay? It's saying, however, we just pulled the Seven of Swords. I don't like that. I do not like that. So let me take a look at what that is. Something you don't see coming. Some sort of betrayal. You will get justice. So for those of you that are, are involved, currently involved with somebody, watch your back. Because I think that there's a third party situation. For those of you that are just getting to meet somebody, and I do think this is a good partner for you in some ways, just make sure they're really single. Make sure they're not like still got somebody on the side. Make sure they're not, um, uh, you know, still, still somehow involved with somebody else. Okay. I don't, I don't love that. I'm super sorry, but it, you know, I, I've, I felt really good. I felt really, really good about this whole connection until I saw that. So I should just not say anything. <laughs> um, the letter A is going to be, um, uh, whatever. The letter A, <laughs> the letter A. Guys, see, should I have given up coffee? I feel like I should do a poll on this. Maybe it was a really bad idea. Yeah. And here's another thing, Scorpio. Okay. So again, if you're involved and you find out about this third party situation or you meet somebody and you, you know, you, you hear that they're still texting their exes or something like that. Okay. Um, just know there that if you put your foot down and you're like, yeah, I'm not going to tolerate this shit. They're going to be on you twice as fast. That's it sucks, but that is fact. If you call somebody out on their bullshit and 
they feel, you know, left out by you or they feel like you are taking charge and have boundaries, they're going to be like, oh, well, then I have to go. I have to push harder. I'm going to get Scorpio back. I'm going to win Scorpio over, which is like obnoxious and horrible. Let me get you guys um, another oracle. And it says, no need to worry. All right. Well, I hope this helps.